Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of FinHub, the channel where we dive deep into everything Miami Dolphins. Today, we're talking about one of the most electrifying young talents on the team, safety Jevin Holland, and why we have high hopes for him into 23. As you all know, the Miami Dolphins defense has been a force to be reckoned with in recent years, and much of that success can be attributed to the young players on the team. And there's no doubt that Jevin Holland is one of the brightest stars in that constellation. With his impressive athleticism, intelligence on the field, and uncanny ability to read the opposing offense, Holland has already made a name for himself in the league. But what's even more exciting is the potential he has to develop further, especially under the guidance of Vic Fangio. Fangio's reputation as a defensive genius is well established, and his arrival in Miami has sparked renewed hopes that he will be able to take this defense to new heights. And with Holland as the anchor in the secondary, the possibilities are endless. Really, I'm, I say it a lot, but I'm here to help the team win, man, in any way, shape, or form. But it's not just Holland who will benefit from Fangio's arrival. Players like Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips, who are already formidable pass rushers, will have the opportunity to thrive even more next season as they work in tandem with Holland and the rest of the Dolphins' defense. I think there's some good young talent there, obviously. You know, just from two years ago in the draft with Phillips and Holland, and those are two really good players that, that I really liked in the draft. You know, Bradley Chubb is here, who obviously I know about. And several other guys, you know, Christian Wilkins is here, who another guy I liked in the draft. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some serious football talk. Because in today's episode of FinHub, we're going to break down why Jevin Holland is the key to the Dolphins' success in 2023, and how the new defensive schemes implemented by Fangio will pave the way for a dominant season. Now, before we dive into the juicy stuff, you already know what's up. Show us some love and hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to smack that bell icon like it's the opposing team's quarterback. We don't want you to miss out on any of the insane action, hype, and drama that goes down in Miami. So stay up to date with us and join the FinHub hype train. All right, now, let's get back to the video. Let me tell you, it would be downright disappointing and surprising if Holland wasn't a Pro Bowl safety next season. And I'm not alone in thinking that. We've all come to expect big things from him, but even more so now thanks to incoming legendary defensive coordinator Vic Fangio. I do know I really liked him the year he came out in the draft. I like his physical ability, his combination of size, speed, quickness. He's got good instincts. I think he's smart from a football standpoint. And um, you're right, we've had some good luck with safeties over the years in the last few stops. And I'm hopeful and confident that he can be one of the top safeties in the league. Fangio knows what he's doing, folks. He's got an eye for talent and a proven track record with safeties. And he's confident that Hollywood Holland has what it takes to be one of the top safeties in the league. Holland's got the physical ability, the instincts, and the smarts to make it happen. And he's already proven himself as a solid player with a top five ranking as a rookie. But last year, he didn't quite live up to his own expectations. But there's a good reason for that, folks. Holland's assignments changed and he was asked to play closer to the line of scrimmage and cover receivers in one-on-one -on -one situations more often. But under Fangio's scheme, Holland's got the potential to make incredible plays in the deep third of the field. Just look at Fangio's track record, folks. Fangio has had some serious luck with safeties in his 19 years as a defensive coordinator or head coach. He's had 31 Pro Bowl selections on his units, with seven of them coming from the safety position, and they were earned by six different players. Fangio has worked with some impressive safeties, such as Dashaun Goldson, Dante Whitner, Eric Reed, Antoine Bethea, Eddie Jackson, and most recently, Justin Simmons. And with Holland's talent and drive, he's the perfect fit for this new assignment. Under Fangio, there should be more confusion for opposing quarterbacks, with more zone coverage and bold pre-snap movements from the safety position. And with Holland as an on-field communicator, he's going to be a key player in making that happen. Holland has been impressive, and it's clear he has Pro Bowl traits. With the scheme Fangio has in mind, Holland's strengths can be fully utilized, which should bring back the Holland of 2021. So mark my words, folks. 
Holland is going to shine under Fangio's coaching. He's got the talent, the drive, and the right scheme to take his game to the next level. And we're all going to be watching as he becomes one of the top safeties in the league. That's a wrap, folks. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of FinHub, where we've talked all about Holland and the reasons to be excited about his potential for the upcoming season. With Vic Fangio at the helm and players like Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips coming off the edge, the Miami Dolphins' young defense is shaping up to be a force to be reckoned with. As always, we appreciate your support and love hearing from our viewers. So, if you have any thoughts or comments on today's episode, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on FinHub.